Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? I hope you are doing really well. So no beer review in this video, uh, but there'll be plenty of beer reviews following this video. So this is an unboxing. It's from Trembling Madness. It's the biggest unboxing I've done on Chris's Beer Reviews. We've got two boxes. We've got this one here and this very large one there. Uh, we're going to go through this all, so it might take a little while. So grab yourself a beer, sit back and enjoy. Uh, I, at work, I've recently moved departments, still with the same company, but moved departments. Uh, so my team that I've just left, uh, they bought me a very generous gift, which was a uh, Trembling Madness voucher for £175. So, yeah, that's what's funded this. I added a little bit more to it. Um, so, yeah, that's what's funded <laughs> literally 95% of this beer order. So, if they are watching, thank you very much indeed. It is massively appreciated, and I will miss the team for sure. Uh, still the same business just moved other departments which means I, I won't be seeing much of them so there you go so yeah very generous generous gift so let's get unboxing i've left my knife round in the jacket of that side so i'm just going to run around here and pick that up i'm not going to pause and all that jazz for a couple of seconds of going to get a knife so let's get this one open Normally, I open the boxes before I start the video because there's always loads of packaging. And of course, there is lots of packaging. Trembling Madness really package their stuff well. You get lots of this stuff. Um, good, for, good for fires. Or recycling it, and if you're sending gifts on to people, use it for that. So I, I generally keep it, and I do use it for packaging up stuff that I move on. Uh, the price list yeah, just would happen to be in that box, but no great shakes. We'll go through the price as and when we review them. So, no particular order. I'm just going to start picking them out. And like I say, grab a drink. This could take a while. I'm drinking Polly's Melting Rose India Pale Out 6% ABV. Picked that up in Sainsbury's yesterday. It's all right. It's just another pale ale, really, 6% pale ale. Let's move that over there. Let's get on with it. Right, so first one out is from Flock. This is called Motion West Coast IPA, 6% ABV. Um, not had anything from Flock, I don't believe. Is it Flock? Is Flock the brewer? Motion West Coast ABV, Flock. It's just the West Coast, that's why I picked it, because you know I love a West Coast. Who? Flock, brewed and clan, clan? <laughs> yeah, brewed and canned at Flock in Canterbury. There you go. Never had anything from them before. There it is. Cool little artwork on there. West Coast IPA. Boom. There's the first one. Number two is from Brass Castle Brewery. I've had a beer from Brass Castle. I've got a review of a Brass Castle beer on the channel, and it was pretty good. So I thought let's give them a go again. And this is Black Russian, a coffee-infused Baltic porter, coming in at 7%. Great ABV, 7%. Uh, interesting can art. But yeah, the first beer I had from them, I reviewed it. That was pretty good. Let's go with number three. Uh, this is Lava Lamp Encryption from Azvek. I knew it was Azvek. Coming in at 8% AP, ABV, a double India parallel. Um, I think this had a quite a good untapped rating. If you if you're bothered by untapped ratings, I think this had quite a good untapped rating. Uh, but there it is lava lamps on the front. Good looking can. Do like a lava lamp. Number four uh, is from Atom Brewery. This is called Binary Mixtures of Vanilla Stout, coming in at 4.5% ABV. Uh, the cat's trying to get in. Unlucky cat. Um, yeah, quite simple artwork. Binary mixtures. Vanilla Stout. Quite simple looking artwork. There's that one. Number five. Uh, this one I'm looking forward to. It's from Vault City. Only you. Love Hearts Session Session Sour. Um, a bit of a Valentine's one really, isn't it? 4.5% ABV, which is good. Uh, modern Sour Beer. Good looking can. I like that one. There it is. Number six we up to. Uh, from Track Brewery, this is called Cowboy Town and American Brown. Um, 
5% ABV quite simple looking can but quite effective do like an American brown brown owls I like so looking forward to that one number seven we've got a collab beer from the brewery Stu Mostow and Don Zoko this is a 8th anniversary double decoction Pilsner Triumph with number 8 on the side 4.9% ABV there you go Pilsner very good pop that on there no we won't we'll just put that there have another mouthful what are we up to one two three four five six seven number eight uh, another kind of love hearty type valentine's type although this has got a proper heart on the front uh, i think there's some reviews of this on the youtubes now this is northern monk demon dance and love northern monk nothing bound brew and co blah 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 i don't really know what this is actually called is it called demon dance love made by northern monk and northern bound brewing co session ipa 4.8 percent who knows i just bought the, i just bought it by look thought that was a cool looking can number nine uh, it's from neon raptor it says singles in your area a new england ipa coming in at 7.2 percent ipa no it doesn't it comes in at 7.2 percent apv uh, just a cool looking can and neon raptor makes some pretty pretty good beers so i thought i'd give that one a go just 10. Uh, another one from Donzo Donzoco. Well, I've never had anything anything from, um, but this one's called Cheers Pal. It's uh, Pal Al coming in at 5% ABV, and I believe this is a 500ml can. It feels it, yeah, it is. Looks good. Foamy beers for good times. Nice can art. I like that. Yeah, it's definitely 500ml. And another 500ml, uh, this is a India Pale Ale, it's just called IPA from Marble. Uh, Marble makes some nice beers, I've had a couple of those over the last few months, a bit before Christmas. Uh, and they were good beers, uh, I don't think I reviewed them, but they were pretty good. So I thought let's give them another try, and again this is a 500ml can. Just a straightforward 5.8% ABV IPA, looking forward to that. 11, well, I don't know what we're up to, let's not worry about numbers shall we uh, never had anything from Baron Brewery and I've heard so many good things about them recently from a number of other beer reviewers so I thought let's give them a go and this is a massive energy bill 5% ABV it's another 500 mil can happy days I do like these 500 mil cans very good indeed and this I just bought with by the look just like the look of it Living beer made in Glasgow. Dare to be honest and fear no labour. STF twisted. Simple things, fermentations. I don't actually even know what it is. I just saw it. <laughs> just like the look of it. It was just the simplest look. Oh, I said Pilsner. 4.8% Pilsner. And that might have been why I also chose it was because it was a Pilsner. But I just like the simplicity of that. And it's from Glasgow, which is excellent. All good. And then we have another 500ml can, never had, never had anything from Rivington Brewery, so I thought it was about time I gave Rivington Brewery a try. This is a soft pale, coming in at 5.2%, 500ml can as I said, haze on the horizon, very nice. Let's give Rivington a try, where are Rivington? Truly, okay, so not a million miles away really, pretty cool, another 500ml can. Do enjoy a 500 mil can. All is good. This feels like a 500 as well, and it is. And I've got absolutely no idea how you pronounce this beer whatsoever. Vino, probably Vino, Vino Radsky, Radsky. <laughs> I don't know. Pivodar. Um, tell me. I don't know how you tell me in text. Break it down. Um, but yeah, again, a simple looking can, another Pilsner, I do like Pilsners, this is a Czech Pilsner, 4.5% ABV, coming in with a 500ml can, um, yeah, another good one, hopefully another good one, and of course if Daya, you're going to get a 500ml can as well, so it's about time I got another Daya beer in, this is called Daya, I'll check the links, this comes in at 
4.2% ABV, quite a low one that, 4.2%. There's all sorts of things going on with this artwork, lots of things written on the side, but looks quite funky, give you the full twirl of that one. 4.2%, very good, 500 mil as I say. Back to the 440s and we're up to pressure drop, do like pressure drop. This is called Office Politics and it's a New England IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV and there's got some office politics on the side about how you should have your chair at your desk etc. Uh, but there it is, Office Politics. And then we have a Hellsbock a called Collaborate from SBC SB Co Shilling Brewery Co or SBC Shilling oh, no, I don't know a Shilling Brewery Co collaboration living beer made together uh, this looks very similar to that so on the back is yeah so they're from the same people aren't they living beer made in Glasgow a Shilling Brewery Co collaborate we'll work it out oh, I just got cramp in my thumb then we'll work it out uh, but yeah, that looks good. Another a Hell's Bock. Uh, that was. Where is the ABV? 6.3% ABV on that one. And another one from Brass Castle called a Fruit Loop, a Citra and Mango Pale. Coming in at 4.8% ABV. Just psychedelic on the old can. Thought to get to from Brass Castle. Another 500ml Whopper, uh, this is an interesting looking can, just pictures of hops all over it really. Uh, fresh Hop Ale, 5%, Clock, it's Clock the Brewery, you can tell I buy with my eyes, I don't always look at names. Uh, clock, Clock, there is zero English written on here, so I can't tell you, <laughs> I cannot tell you where it's brewed. Where is this brewed? Church here? Church? Don't know. Just like the look at that. I will do some research on that. <laughs> Clock. New brewery. Thought I'd get some new breweries as well in this unboxing. It's good to get a few different breweries in as well, isn't it? Um, we have got one from North Brewing Co. This is an ESB. I do love a good bitter, and especially an ESB as well. Extra special bitter. Let's see what North Brew's take on an ESB is going to be like. I've had some Belting Craft Brewery ESBs. Let's see what North Brew can do with theirs. I'm going to turn the heater down in here. It doesn't even need to be on. Turn down. Thank you. Um, hopefully, you weren't picking up too much noise of that. But yeah, North Brewing Co. ESB, 5.6% ABV as well. Great ABV for an ESB. Looking forward to that. Probably be one of the first I review, just because I love an ESB. And then we've got Whiplash the Horror, a smoked Imperial Stout. Sounds impressive. It does sound impressive. This is one that I did do a bit of reading on, because I'm not a big Impy Stout person anymore. I've kind of dropped off with the Impies, um, but it's smoked. You know, and I love smoked beers, smoked helles, and smoked lagers are fantastic. So, smoked imperial style. It says it's smoked malt, crystal malt, aromatic malt, chocolate malt, Columbus, and WLP007. Should be interesting. So it comes out of Ireland as well, which is good. So, we've got English beers, we've got Czech beers, Scottish beers, going around the world, people. So, brewed by Whiplash in Dublin. There it is. Looks good. It's. Um, 11% ABV, which does worry me a little bit because I'm just not into impies anymore. We just change, don't we? Taste change. But I would definitely review that. Definitely review it. We've got another 500 mil, and it's another one from Daya. It's a session pal called How Did the Universe Begin? Well, that's a million dollar question, isn't it? How did the universe begin? Uh, lots of people will tell you one way, lots of people will tell you another. But there it is. That comes in at 4.8% ABV, looking good. And the last one out of this box before we open the other one is another one from Don Zoko. And I've got this one because, <laughs> funny enough, it's close to the other one that I've just done. It's a smoked Hellez. So I've got a smoked stout and now I've got a smoked Hellez and I love smoked Hellez and smoked lagers. Uh, this is a 500ml can, 
it's called Super King and it comes in at 4.8% ABV um, nice looking can good artwork if you cover that as you just see the word Super King does kind of remember the old Super King fag packets or does kind of also remind me of the, of the good old special brew cans uh, but there you go so that is that box empty now we're on to the big box I'm not going to put all these back in there and move that box because that's just going to take time well I could run around and press pause and do that but I'm not going to bother I won't bother we will just do this box from here so let's crack open this one hope you're all still with me oh dear this wasn't for the best of knives it's not really a knife this is for opening the foil on the wine bottle really there we go there we go there's the price list let's move that I'll we'll just put it on the floor. And we should get some, there we go, some Dipper XL, I'm guessing that's supposed to be a cola sweet. That's a bit tight, they normally give you more than that, or certainly a bigger sweet than that. Cutbacks, even Trembling Madness are suffering the cutbacks. More of the funky stuff. Lots more of the funky stuff. Oh, I mean. Next day delivery as well on Trembling Madness if you order by a certain time. And they've never failed to do that next day delivery. I normally order in the morning and 24 hours later it's on your doorstep. You just can't argue with that. And their range is just fantastic. I do get a lot of this stuff though. Right, is there anything in that bit? No, no, right, let's crack on then. Let's crack on. Uh, funnily enough, I'm drinking a Polly's, and this is a Polly's. It's called Hello Euphoria Pale Ale 5.2% ABB, the usual Polly's type artwork. Let's have a slurp while we're at it. Next one out. From Burt Mill Brewery, this is Delta Lines, a Cascade West Coast Pale Ale coming in at 5% ABV. They do always have some interesting pictures on their can art. That one is a little bit uninspiring, but I like Burt Mill. They generally make some pretty good beers. Go underneath that one. Another one from Polly's, this is called Dealer's Choice, a picture of a man dealing some cards, and it's a bitter. That's why I got this one, is because it's a bitter 4.5%. So let's see how Polly's just do a kind of standard bitter, really. That'd be interesting. And then we've got one from Pomona Island. It's a West Coast pale called Ricochet Biscuit, the typical Pomona Island artwork. Simple, but very, very effective. Very nice indeed. <laughs> And this is from, I don't know, is the brewery called Clay Life? No, Classic Mash Collab Extra Special Bitter Brewed Hudson Valley Car. I mean, why have a really dark label like that and then put black text on top of it, which is impossible to see? But it's an ESB, that's why I bought it, because it's an extra special bitter. Coming in at, what's the ABV on this? 5.2. Let's kill that heater off again, it's just kicked in. Uh, blimey, I went a bit heavy on the Brass Castle. It's another Brass Castle, I don't remember ordering this many Brass Castles. Uh, this is Sunshine, India Parallel, 5.7% ABV. Um, there you go, that's the artwork, fairly straightforward. That I'll be reviewing that one. But I will be hopefully enjoying that one. And then we've got a post impact porter. This is from, I mean, this looks very much like Staggeringly Goods artwork to me. 
Oh, where is it? This is Staggery Good Post Impact Porter, 5.4% ABV from Staggery Good. And with every Trembling Madness order I do, I don't do unboxing videos on every Trembling Madness order I do. I just do the odd, odd few. I always get a good range of uh, German beers in. And this is Stu Georgenbrau. This is the if Kellebeer, the word above it looks like he wants to say Butenheimen or Butenheimer. Um, certainly sounds decent. Coming in at 4.9% ABV, 500ml bottle. And they're just such good value for money as well. Go on Trembling Madness and select beers, and then scroll through the countries, get to Germany. Uh, and the, the prices, they're all pretty much 500ml bottles. And they're, they're just glorious beers. Rarely get a dodgy one gone 330 people I rarely buy 330s but just like the name of this death before disco porter from left hand brewing uh, 6% ABV nice looking can shame it's got a dent in it not happy that with that it's got a dent in it it's not the biggest dent in the world but it still has a dent in it there we go <sighs> And then Arbor Beer had to come out. Again, they've done it as well. The dark purple with black font. It's not good. Arbor, Texas Sunday morning. A hazy India parallel. Coming in at a 568 milliliter can as Arbor do. And this comes in at 6.5% ABV. Good looking can, but just don't like black text on purple. It just doesn't work for me. Who am I? Now to come, it's another German beer, it's a bit dusty this one. Not selling many of these with that amount of dust on it, are they? The Flotzinger Weiss Beer Hell coming in at 5.3% ABV. I know I'm rubbish on the pronunciation of these, but Germany, trust me, I appreciate all your beers that I buy because they are just always so good. Oh, here's another one. The Eingar, this is the, oh I can't pronounce that, Alt Berich, Berich, I'm absolutely butchering that, someone tell me how to pronounce that again, I apologise, but I do love your beers Germany. It's a Dunkel, I'm guessing that might say, oh, I don't know, I'm guessing, but anyway that comes in at 5% ABV and I can guarantee that will be a belter, guarantee it. Pushing on with the Germans. Nickel Brow, uh, Michaela Nickel Brow. This comes in at 5.1% ABV. Again, 500ml bottles. They're just such good value for money. And they, they always taste bloody good. As well as the good value in their size and the cost, they rarely let you down. I've not had one really that I've absolutely really disliked. And I've bought a lot. I've pretty much bought probably every type of German beer that's on Trembling Madness. Uh, another one, this is the Augustina Brau Munchen Edelstoff coming in at 5.6% ABV. Ex Edelstoff export beer. Only one label on the front. Looks cracking. If I review these, I will tell you the price. And I never do review them. I think I, it's really, really rare if I review one of these German beers. And I buy lots of them, like I say, every Trembling Madness order. I always aim to buy at least six German beers and I don't review them. Do you want me to review them? Would you like to see them? Because they are fantastic. Here we go, there's another one. The Greeks Kirschner Dunkel. This will come in probably around about a 6% mark I would say if I could find it. It's going to be in that region. Most Dunkels are sort of 5 to 6%. 5%, fair enough. Not really like a liar. Um, that is a 500ml bottle, but it's quite a thin, a thin the bottle, so it stands taller than all the others. But you can't probably can't see them because they're over there. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I always try and get at least six. There's uh, a glass. New, another pint glass to add to the collection. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but it is the Rivington pint glass. Is there a gap? There is a gap. 
I'll do them in height order. That's about right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. uh, increase the glass collection. Uh, then we're off to Beak Brewery with a Lupu or Lupo IPA, six percent. Simple IPA, six percent. Bosch done. And then we have Argonaut IPA. Uh, IPA or Wylam? Is this another new brewery to me? I think it is. Where's it brewed? Denmark. So this is from Denmark. So we really are going around the world with this box of beer as well. So just like the art artwork on there, Argonaut IPA, really cool artwork. 6% ABV and another new brewery to the channel. Happy days. Uh, this is, I've forgotten their name. Oh, can I remember the name before I read it out or look at it? Oh, what are they called? They just have amazing artwork. I've got it up, one of their art, can artworks up on my wall. What are they called again? I don't know, this is a Belgian blonde and it's from, blimey, I can't even, Tartarus, <laughs> that's it. And there you go, Belgian Blonde, coming in at 6% ABV. So a Belgian Blonde style beer from Tartarus. Ridiculously good artwork that they have on there. Uh, another one from Polly's, this is called Shaky Towel, Double Dry Hopped Simcoe Pale. 5.5% ABV, another polys, some of that. And I've been meaning to buy this glass for ages, if I can get it out. That is well stuck in there. Oh, how did they even get that in there? I'll come back to that. Uh, another one, uh, just a good looking art, can artwork really. This is from Verdant, it's confidential, com it's not confidential. Conventional, <laughs> conventional tactics IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. Just really cool artwork. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but I'll try and get a bit closer. Just check the artwork out on that. Very nice, indeed. Very cool. I hope that comes out okay. Just love the artwork on that. And then we have a. Easy going IPA coming in at 4% ABV. IPA at 4% called Crop, or is Crop the Brewery, and the name's Flurry. Citra and Idaho 7, the most simplest of can artwork you can imagine. Crop Beer Co. So they're out of Hampshire, never had anything from Crop Beer Co. So again, a, another new brewery to the channel. So I'll probably try and review it. It's only a 4%er, which is good if you're looking at reducing your ABV, uh, but really simple. Very, very simple indeed. I like that. A little wrap, kind of band around it. Very nice. All right, to get this glass out, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. No, it's coming out. I've been meaning to buy this glass for ages. I like my Belgian glass. Well, I just like glasses, but I do like the Belgian ones. And this is just a cracking glass. It's quite big as well. It's the Golden Drac egg glass. It is absolutely beautiful, that glass. It really is. It is quite large as well. Such a cracking glass. And I had a bottle of Golden Drac quadruple the other day. There should be one in here. Yeah, there is. And I did have one the other day, but I thought, buying the glass, I've got to buy the beer to go with it, because I didn't review it. Was it the white labelled one I did? Anyway, so it's Golden Drac 9000 quadruple. There's also a quadruple in the white wrap as well. I think that, I've had them both recently, um, but they are great beers. And I just thought it was long overdue. I've got the egg glass. It's just a fantastic glass. And I don't know why it's taken me so long to get that. But there we go, beautiful glass and great beer to go in it. Absolutely huge. Uh, anyway, so I believe that is everything people. That is absolutely everything. Let me just chuck them over there. Get them out of the way. Trash in the place. Didn't need to do this on camera. There you go, I'm back. <laughs> there you go. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's the longest boxing, beer unboxing video I've done. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. 
if there's anything you can remember seeing that you'd like me to review please put something in the comments and again thank you very much to my team that I've recently left for clubbing together and coming up with a voucher to enable me to buy 95% of these beers that's very kind of you indeed massively appreciated and if you watch the channel and there's any beers that you want me to review from my old team that you've seen on here just ask and I'll get them reviewed for you thanks very much for watching see you all soon take care bye now